Hey, do you ever wonder, wouldn't it be easy to just make some Powerballs that the kids will love, that I can feel good knowing that the ingredients are clean? Well, today's the day. I'm going to show you guys how to take five simple ingredients to make delicious vanilla oat Powerballs. They're top eight allergy free, gluten free, vegan, free from so many things, no refined cane sugar. They're gonna be great. Then, I'll take you guys down decoration lane, which I think your kids will love. For this to work, you'll need a food processor. This isn't the type of thing that you'll make in a blender uh, just because of the way the opening works. It just, it doesn't work. So in your food processor, you're going to add your oats. Now we're using gluten-free purity protocol organic oats, which are better than standard gluten-free and better than standard organic. And now we've got our maple syrup. And you can use any grade. I've got our tiger nut oil. Fun fact, tiger nuts are not nuts. They're tubers. They're little vegetables that grow in the ground. They have a terrible name. I always take a moment of silence for them. Our vanilla extract. And a little bit of sea salt. If you have little kids, this is such a great recipe to make with them because they can push all the buttons and help you. So I'm going to turn on our food processor. Now you don't have to have a giant food processor to pull this off. If you have a small one, great. And I'm just going to... What I personally like to do is scrape down all the edges and then I'll mix it up one more time so it's nice and smooth. you guys saw how easy that was in about one minute we have amazing power balls now the best part so you've got this great power ball mix and this is what it looks like now you can see a little bit of the mix is left in the middle and that's okay you can either fold it in or you can leave it out and just scrape around it if you were to use more content like double this batch with a large food processor you wouldn't have that issue in the middle because we have such a large food processor and get those types of things. You'll need a plate or a tray lined with parchment paper. And you'll need a cookie dough scooper. We love the OXO brand. They make small, medium, and large. I don't necessarily suggest a large power ball, but I'm also not against it. Now, today I've got some top eight allergy-free chocolate chips. I've got some allergy-friendly sprinkles. I have chia seeds, and I have a pumpkin seed that's been salted. If you have little kids, obviously you're going to go for these. However, what if your kids can't have these kinds of items? Maybe they're corn free or low histamine or just different things. Seeds make a really great look on your Powerball. And if you use a salted seed, it adds a little extra pop of flavor. So what you'll do is you'll scoop out some of your mixture and you'll simply roll it up. Now this is where kids get to have fun. They can decorate. They can drop it in the chocolate chips and maybe roll it around a little bit more. I feel like if I were a child, I'd make a power ball that looks just like this. Now they are a little bit sticky and that's okay. And I'll show you what that chia seed power ball looks like. You can just cover the whole thing just like this. And of course, now my fingers are super sticky. Now, if you have little kids helping you, I'm pretty sure they'll lick their fingers. And that's half of them. Finally, a salted seed. Again, this will just add a really fun pop of flavor. So, why Power Balls? Well, I'll tell you. Number one, they're fun for kids to make. Number two, they're great for lunches. They're also great for after school snacks. They have an amazing shelf life. If you're doing these for a longer shelf life, you can put them on a tray with parchment paper and either stick them in your fridge or even in your freezer for even longer. I personally like to double and triple batch power balls and then we have them for a month or two, depending on how quick your kids eat them. Hey there, thanks for watching. I love making power balls with you. If you like the recipe, there's a link down below. 
And if you like our channel, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and hit that notification button.